Hello everybody, this is Raymond Bakare, and this is the highly requested updated CV Academy skill builds video. Um, these builds are all personal preferences that I found works best with my play style. And no builds that I show you today are going to be the correct builds or the staple builds. They're all just personal preferences and that's the best thing about this skill rework. I'm going to try to go through these quickly to reduce the length of the video. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below. So to start us off, we're going to be talking about the Japanese carrier line. First will be the tech tree and the build will be pretty much the same for the whole tech tree line from Hosho all the way up to the Hakuryu. So the first skill that I'll be going is going to be air supremacy for every single carrier that I will be talking about in this video. Air supremacy is just so good. You don't want to give up on this skill. 5% um, aircraft restoration time is very, very beneficial. Next, I'll be going for air, uh, the improved engines. After that, aircraft armor, and then the survivability expert skill. After that, I will invest points into size stabilization and then into proximity fuse. The reason why I go size stabilization first is because of the torpedo bomber aiming speed is reduced, as well as the dive bombers um, aiming has been reduced as well. This is very, very strong skill for the torpedoes um, investment for the IJN. And also after that, Taking proximity fuse will just let you land a lot more torpedoes. That's just how it is. Faster aiming and then letting you reducing that aiming time it takes during the attack run will land you a lot more torpedoes. Unless you start you start the torpedo one from miles away and then the enemy can see it. It's kind of kind of negates the whole fact that you have stealthy and fast planes. Um, proximity fuse, ten percent uh, torpedo protection negation. What this means is you'll be basically doing more damage per torp hit and also because you're lowering the the anti-torpedo protection on battleships that'll actually net you a lot more chance to flood a much higher chance to flood the ship in general this is a two-in-one skill a lot of people don't realize that you also get a higher chance to flood so keep that in mind when taking this skill very strong for carriers who have the ability to torpedo and for my last skills, I will invest in Torpedo Bomber, reduces the arming distance, and we all know how bad the Torpedo Arming distance is for these Japanese carriers. And then, taking my final points into Repair Specialist, this increases the consumable action time, which is very good for the heal on these, on these carriers. And also, it gives you one extra charge, which is very beneficial for, for this line. And lastly, improved engine boost. A lot of people like to take last gasp, but for me personally, I only like to take last gas if I know, th or if, if the, if the carrier doesn't have a, a lot of attack runs during one in, in one squadron. If we look at the torpedo bombers for the Hakuryu, this is very common for um, Hakuryu and the Shokaku. The torpedo bombers, they have two in the attacking flight, but they have, they have 12 aircraft per squadron. So you'll, you'll have a chance to do six attack runs with this thing. This is not going to be, you know, you won't be using last, last gas a lot for these torpedo bombers. It'll help you off with these attack aircraft and the bombers, uh, the, 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 the dive bombers. It's not going to help you much out with the torpedo bombers. I'd rather invest more into engine boost duration. So that's it for the Hakuryu. Now for Kaga, it's going to take a, it's going to be a little bit of a different build. Same thing as usual, going first into air supremacy and to improve the engines, aircraft armor, survivability expert, and then I will take site civilization and then proximity fuse. Now, pretty much the only thing here that's different is going to be for last gas because Kaga, she has, she has four and 12 in the attack squadron. This means you have three attack, uh, three attack runs. And then for attack aircraft, you have four attack runs. So that, that means you'll be able to proc this skill a lot more. The whole build is pretty much the same as the Hakuryu, except one is taking last gasp and the other one is taking improved engine boost. I take the repair specialist on both on both the tech tree line and Kaga because torpedo bomber heal is just so it's it's it's, it's too too good to miss out on. I, I don't know what else you would put these two points into. Maybe into improved engine boost or um, engine techie, but I don't think these are as strong as the repair specialist.
So moving over to the American carrier line, you're starting to see uh, similarities between these builds. Um, pretty much every single build is going to have the the staple air supremacy, improved engines, aircraft armor, survivability expert, site stabilization, and proximity fuse. Some carriers would not take the site stabilization. I'll get into more of that later in the, in the different nations. But for the most part, these one, two, three, four, five skills are all going to be the staple, staple five. Now, this will be different for those who don't have torpedoes, but again, we'll go into that later. Midway, it's going to be the same as the Hakuryu. One, two, three, four, five, and then six in the proximity fuse. Now, in this case, for Midway, I'm going to be taking the bomber flight control because for Midway, I do use the, the unique upgrade for Midway, which increases the bomber speed. And also, it increases the, bomb, the dive bomber's damage. So that in combination together is very strong um, together. And then for my last point, I will be putting it into last gasp because Midway has, Midway unlike Hakuryu, it does not have the extreme large amount size of the squadrons. So this will be very handy. Again, last point, you can put it into improved engine boost if you want, but this is a personal preference. I like to take this skill now. As for FDR, FDR takes a very unique build now. FDR has very large squadron sizes on all three payload types, so you would not be taking last gas. You won't be able to proc it very often. Next, FDR has the ability to actually aim down the reticle very quickly and also when you're moving and adjusting, except for the rockets, when you're moving and adjusting your torpedo bombers and your dive bombers, the reticle will actually stay intact when you're moving. So that means you can, you can line up the shot or you can actually get, get a... Um, an enemy by surprise and then actually turn your planes during the attack run. So this means you don't have to take site stabilization at all. But instead, the downside to FDR is very, very slow planes. This will mean that you will eat flak, no matter how good of a, of a CV player you are, you will eat flak. So that, that's, that's when the enhanced aircraft armor skill will be coming into play. I usually never take the skill ever on any carrier. Um, Unless, of course, it's like clan battles or rank battles where you know that they might be um, grouping up a lot, which just makes flak impossible to dodge. This skill is a consideration. Okay, and you can you can situational. You can take this if you are not so confident with dodging uh, flak. So the staple, the usual, one, two, three, four, and five. Next, I will be going into increased aircraft armor. Well, one can argue that you can take aircraft armor first, but generally you'll be going for these, these um, six skills. After that, you'll be putting it into torpedo bomber, reduces the arming distance, helps, helps you out greatly with landing a lot more torpedoes. And then last two can be your preference of these two, cho these two choices. Next, Enterprise. Enterprise is a unique carrier. She actually does not really need size civilization. Um, but she does have very slow planes. So that is also one thing you can also invest in carrier in, in these fighter skills for enterprise because her, her fighters, her fighters are actually very different, um, than all of the carriers in the game. She has, I believe she has a total of 10 fighters, whereas the tier 10 carriers have seven, seven or eight, if I recall correctly. So you can actually consider going fighter build if you would like to, but the, for that kind of build, I would um, recommend going if you're in like clan battles or, or something like that. But this is all for ranked solo queue, uh, random battles, the usual five, and then torpedo, the, sorry, the bomb reflect control into site stabilization into last gasp. Um, not much to really work with for enterprise because she's just that, that strong of a ship uh, of a carrier, not much to really invest into. Um, she has slow planes, so that's why I like to invest in bomber flight control, help out those slow, slow plane speed. Um, the usual tier eight American carrier alpha on these torpedo bombers, 6.4, that, that hurts a lot. Taking this will improve that greatly. And then Saipan. So Saipan has the American torpedo bombers for the tier eight, but she drops four of them. So proximity fuse is a definite must. You do just so much damage. It's 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 insane how strong she is. If you land all four on a tier six battleship, 
So the usual five size civilization into torpedo bomber because the armoring distance is quite far for these. And then you'll be taking these three. I don't really like to invest anything into these, these uh, fighter skills or this. Concealment, you don't want to take at all for any carrier. If I recall correctly, this skill is bugged right now. And also it is more of a downside than a positive um, benefit. This uh, aircraft armor you can take because Saipan's planes are quite slow. But um, you, with your high HP and you basically have tier 10 planes on a tier 8 carrier, you generally don't need this skill at all. Demolition Expert, I don't think you really need it because you already have a 66% fire chance. Um, this is just not needed. So moving over to the German tech tree line, uh, the build is pretty much going to be the same for what Hakuryu actually runs. Um, but only difference is I actually drop Torpedo Bomber and also set, uh, Stabilization because these tech tree carriers actually have very fast aiming speeds. So this makes it so that you don't actually have to take them at all. You can actually invest your points elsewhere. The repair specialist is very, very beneficial because these um, planes, these squadrons for the tier eight and the tier 10, the torpedo bombers get a heal and also the dive bombers get a heal. So this is actually benefiting two of your squadrons. So this is definitely a must have increased uh, charges and also the action time is very beneficial. So in this case, you'll be going the usual five points and then you can take it into bomber flight control and then you can take repair specialist. Last two is you can take these. Now for Graf Zeppelin, Graf Zeppelin is in a very wonky place. It has been since patch was 7.7 .7, and it's still, you know, even after rework carriers and then now in rework skills, it's still in a very awkward position. It just has so many downsides to it. 15.7, you can't even take concealment anymore. And um, so a lot of times this is going to be a meme pick for possibly ranked or clan brawls. Uh, it's, a, it's a secondary build. I would I would go the usual the usual five, and after that go into close quarter expert, and then secondary armament skill. But just because you know you can just meme around. This is pretty much a meme build, and I don't if you want to go fully in, into into investing into your planes um, planes attack then by all means go for it this is this is just a meme build i don't really know what to really say for graph supply this yeah you, know, you could just um skip this portion really it's not a good ship i do not recommend playing this um ship at all so next Lonehart. Lonehart is going to be very strong for a tier 6 carrier, uh, especially her dive bombers. Very, very accurate, near, just destroying cruisers and destroyers of her tier. Um, very, very fast planes at all, competing with those on tier 10 speeds. So this is a very strong carrier in general. The usual 5 skills, and then I would put a point into the bomber flight control because you're mainly known you're mainly for your dive bombers so more speed is always going to be good for you after that you can go either into demolition expert or you can go into improved engine boost this is pretty much your choice i would never one thing the one thing to say about german carriers i would never invest points in, in enhanced art uh, ap ammunition it's three percent this but this skill got nerfed um before the rework patch went live i think before it was five percent which was some somewhat of a decent skill to take but now that it's three percent i would not recommend taking this skill at all it is just not worth it it's underpowered in my opinion if this was a two-pointer then possibly it would be a good pick worth considering but because it's a three-pointer it's just too expensive you want to invest in something else now the last nation we'll be talking about is the british carriers and so the british carriers Again, with their special trait, you actually don't have to take site stabilization because their aiming speeds are very fast. So this allows you to actually free up three points for whatever else you want to go to. Not only that, the arming distance of the, of the torpedoes are very short. So you can actually throw use these two points elsewhere. The usual five into bomber flight control, into demolition expert, and then last gasp. Now for Indomitable, I use a very, very different skill build, mainly because she really doesn't need much. She doesn't have torpedo bombers, so 
Yeah, and on, on top of that, she has very fast aiming uh, aiming speeds. So what I would usually go for is first first skill I would take is last gasp, mainly because for this character you can use the slingshotting technique. It is the only character that is able to consistently slingshot. Slingshotting is very core. It's is one is the core gameplay for this carrier. So if you do not know how to slingshot, um, highly recommend learning how to how to slingshot. You can check any other video about slingshotting or any indomitable video um, for that. So last gas first into air supremacy, improved engines, and then the usual um, build all the way up to bomber flight control. After that, you can take demolition expert because you are investing heavily in your dive bombers, which is right now with demolition experts 34 percent um fire chance and then after that you can just go down the line of of these one pointers there's really nothing else you want to be taking here um maybe enhanced aircraft armor if you're not very good at dodging flak but your plane speed you're going ridiculously fast 234 speed at a tier 8 which is absurd um you this is easily tier 10 you know one of the one of the best tier 10 speeds in the game that we have for a tier 8 carrier so you shouldn't even be taking this. I don't think you'll be able to eat flak unless you try very hard. Um, you just got to wiggle and then the, you'll, you'll be dodging the flak by that. This is pretty much what you'll be going or what I usually go. Maybe you can invest more into fighter skills, but I just don't like to do that for for random battles or ranked battles. And uh, for the Arc Royal, Arc Royal, you'll be using the same build as Audacious. Not, not much argument there. You don't need much really. It's just going to be the same build. Alrighty, and there you have it. The reworked skill builds for this CV Academy. Um, these are all the builds that I currently use on all my, pretty much all my carriers on stream and my videos. There are times when I do change things up, but you can take, you can, I usually upload my my builds in the video um, anyways, so you'll be able to take notice. The, um, but yeah, if this video has actually helped you guys out, let me know uh, if you guys run anything different. Um, Please let me know as well. I, I would always like to see how see what other people are running and having success with, because um, again, these builds are all are, are all personal preference. So um, I'm always down for discussion. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed it, let me know. Uh, leave a like, subscribe. You know the usual. Hope you guys have a good and safe week. It is the weekend tomorrow, and I'll see you guys next time.